Welcome back, ladies and gentle niggas, to another episode of Body Bag Center. I'm your host, Moonski, here to give you the craziest matches you have yet to see. Now, as you can tell, for this week, we're doing all things Marvel Rivals. Yeah, the game has just dropped, and millions of players are trying to show that they deserve to be at the tippity top of their class. We got a couple of matches of said players to be shown off, and I bet you're sitting home at wondering, where is my footage? Why am I not displayed on Body Bag Center? That's because you didn't send them in, dumbass. Now, if you want to do so, make sure you follow me at YoMoonski on Twitter or Moonski on Blue Sky, and make sure you send me your replay ID. That way, I get your whole match in all of its entirety. If not, we'll get your play to games in a brand new segment we got coming up. But that's enough talk. We got a lot of matches, like I said before. Let's not waste any time. Let's get into the week that was for Body Bag Center. Alright, our next match comes from Hollow Shinobi giving us a Jeff. Let's see how this match is going to uh, transpire. We have the Jeff hanging back just a little bit, making sure the rest of his team kind of goes in the front. Let's see if he catches up with his, there goes his swim right there. Wants to kind of make his way up to the front line, just to kind of get his first early heals. Let's see how this goes as we get a couple of heals and we get some bubble bursts right there. First body blood we got right now from the Jeff taking out the Ludo. That is huge. One healer down on the enemy team. They can't be happy about that as Jeff takes out the Venom. They're down a healer and a tank. Now we have the group pressuring the Jeff right there as he takes out his third one. Not even goddamn a minute has passed and Jeff has claimed three souls to the spawn point as he heals up the Venom. All right, now let's see what Jeff kind of does as he tries to hang back, making sure everybody is healed up and up this enough. Captain America trying to find his way in, but he is not worried, Jeff goes ahead and reloads as the rest of his team tries to pull it on in. We got a Spider-Man and Venom trying to pressure, but it looks like Jeff is hanging back, hitting with these bubble bursts as the Venom falls right there as he sits back at a very nice range right there. Groot and Venom take the front grounds as Jeff kind of sits back. Look how Hollow is trying to aim for that Luna. He knows he wants to get rid of the healers. As long as the healers are on the map, he's trying to keep, he's wanting to get rid of pretty much that battery that is keeping some of those annoying tanks alive. And they seem to have cornered Luna. Luna folds like a lawn chair Pack that bitch up, put her straight in the goddamn freezer where she belongs as we have Captain America struggling to come in. All right, we have a Star Lord trying to come in, but a great wall from the group. All right, and it looks like Star Lord trying to do something, but it looks like nobody dies as it looks like Jeff just squirts on him for BM as an enemy group tries to pressure in. All right, Jeff's a little turret right now. Healing up, make sure the rest of his team is looking pretty good. All right, as we have the Venom, he's in need of heals, and there goes the Jeff healing up the Venom, putting him back into the game. We have a Star-Lord trying to find himself back into the fray. All right, and Jeff has, has his sights on him. All right, and it looks like the rest of the team is trying to find another route to the point as Jeff and Groot follow behind. They don't even know what's about to hit him. Jeff has ult. He does have ult. Jeff retreats away as it looks like the rest of his team is going to take care of whoever is pursuing him. Jeff is very being sneaky. Could it be time? Could it be time? As Jeff gets a little sneaky, he's going. He's trying to help out the Star-Lord, trying to pick off the healers. As Jeff finally goes for the ult, he scoops up Captain America and Groot, both of their tanks, and it looks like we might see a Jeff World Classic off the map. Captain America lives, but unfortunately Groot as Jeff tries to clean up the Captain America right now. All right, Captain America all trying to go back to the point as Jeff retreats and finds himself warming his way back to the back lines as we have the rest of the team trying to clean up what's left without their tank there. They will probably fall in this as his team composition just crumbles. Luna's low. Star-Lord is now on the field. Jeff is going to get his run back. There is a revenge kill right there as he finds himself claiming his first point. First match goes to the goddamn blue team. All right, the battle is now on its way. The gates have opened. Star-Lord taking the charge to the front as Jeff sits his ass squarely on group shoulders. Now, on this part of the map, it gets very interesting because the map tends to change up its uh, it, 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 its landscape right now. So it can make some interactions a little dicey depending on how the map alters. Now, we have the Groot and Star-Lord trying to rush in, but the Groot and the Jeff find himself in the middle. Jeff falls fairly quickly quickly this round. Let's see how we can turn this around. All right, here we have Jeff entering into the fray. He's trying to go ahead and get some snipes off. Does not really connect with the Luna, but he's getting some good damage off. 
All right, now we're seeing an ult. Unfortunately, it looks like that Jeff is goddamn stuck behind a wall, but it looks like he finds his way, and he manages to spit both Star-Lord, Spider-Man. Spider-Man is trying to hang up for dear life, but Spider-Man also falls, and a good triple kill from the Jeff. All right, here comes game three. Let's see how this match transpires. All right, as we have Captain America and his beef with Jeff has not stopped. Jeff retreats back, trying to put some damage. He's trying to go for some heals. All right, as he tries to take out the Captain America, Captain America ult, as we have the Groot now on Jeff. Where is Jeff going? Jeff is retreating back to the back lines. Here comes Captain America diving on in. Jeff does not care. Sing at 85%. He's about to have ult as he's going for the Mantis. He wants to pick off the healers. First, the healers fall. Here's the next one. He's aiming at the Groot now. He Okay, and he has ult as well. Let's see. Can he claim any more lives as he pushes back the team? Now, Jeff does have ult once again, and he's going for it. Where is Jeff going? He makes his way, and it looks like Jeff manages to get a Mantis. There goes the healer as he goes, and he spits out his group. What is he, Jeff, doing as he goes ahead and finds himself into the spawn? And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. 28 kills in total from the Jeff, 8 deaths, and 19 assists. He was definitely putting up a lot of points right there. Huge blunder right there, spitting out his group, but he manages to bring it back with a couple of good heals towards the end to keep his team alive in the end. This match could not have been secured without the Jeff going ahead and ulting up a couple of those key times and getting up those tanks and those healers, literally crippling the team right there. That is a certified body bag. Throw some big fat baby BBCs in the chat. B -b body bag. You know, ladies and gentlemen, because sometimes the matches here at the BBC, it's, it, 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 it's, it's way too short. The pounding, it's way too quick. You can't really show it off in its full length here at the BBC. And I like to show everything off in the full length, but unfortunately, sometimes we're just set matches that are just too quick of a pounding. That's why we have Lightning Quickies. Lightning Quickies are going to be a quick succession of nice, quick matches of play the games that we can see a lot of rapid body bags in quick succession. Let's not waste any time. Let's head into our first Lightning Quickie. All right, our first LQ comes from Count. Let's see, we have a Scarlet Witch, and if I see a Scarlet Witch, I got good money that she's gonna ult, and right on time, here comes the Scarlet. Let's see what she's gonna get. She gets a quad kill, crazy quad kill from the Count. That is a crazy body bag. Our next LQ comes from Chris, playing as a Rocket, going ahead and pelting this Magneto. Magneto falls as Rocket finds himself retreating backwards as we have the rest of the team trying to avenge his falling comrade as Rocket goes ahead, and he goes goes and lays down that star lord here comes some more heals from the rocket as the enemy tries to funnel on in jeff not turning around jeff is gonna fall right down another kill from the rocket as iron man tries to get rid of the rocket rocket is taking up too much here comes moon knight can moon knight take out the rocket no he cannot here comes iron man trying to get rid of the rocket and no he can't either rocket is just on fire can they take him down no the fuck they can't Great body bag. Next, LQ is coming from Lakumi and giving us a Bucky. And right off rip, we have Thor dropping like a goddamn toy when Annie comes home. All right, as we have a Strange in the Distance playing a little peekaboo with the Bucky, trying to go ahead and get some hits off. Now, Bucky is sitting about 83% for his ult. He almost has ult. He's trying to get a couple more hits off. And I feel like whenever he gets his ult, because I know, I know body, I may know a thing or two about bodies here at the Body Bag Center. And I feel like the moment Bucky gets gets his ult, things are about to open a fucking can of worms. Now he's seeing about 90%. Bucky is definitely looking for someone to just feed him. He just needs a little bit. 95% as the Thor runs away and Thor falls. And look at that 96. He got the ult. Here it comes. Again. Say it with me. Again. He's not done. Again. He's not done. Again. And he's doing it again. And that is a body bag center from Look, cool man. All right, our next LQ is coming from Lost Kami, giving us an Iron Fist, and he has ult, so you know what's gonna happen. And here it is, he's ulting, and he body the fucks out of Punisher. Punisher falls, it looks like Cloak and Dagger falls. Jeff is falling. Strange is just taking all these punches in the face. God damn it, Strange falls. Oh my goodness, when I say a lightning quickie, that definitely was a lightning motherfucking quickie. Now we have Iron Fist in call. Iron, uh, what is your thoughts right now just going into the match? I know a lot of your competitors have guns, but you don't seem phased at all. Uh, what is your mindset w going into the match when knowing that you only have your hands on you? I don't need no gun. 
I beat the shit out of one of these niggas, boy. Straight up. Niggas don't want to fight. No. Fair enough. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, our next match comes from If You Know You Know, giving us a fat little gameplay. That's right, we have Cloak and Dagger as the match starts in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's get it, as we're gonna see how exactly You Know manages to deal uh, with the enemy team. Now, Cloak and Dagger, very interesting character, being able to both heal and damage the enemies. I do believe that the kit of the character uh, excels way more healing than damage, but let's see how You Know plays with this. All right, and we have have some heals on the team we have a wolverine trying to go ahead and do some damage but it looks like wolverine is unsuccessful as he dives onto the point and it looks like he swaps the cloak in hot pursuit of the wolverine where's the wolverine going as you know saying nigga where are you moving to wolverine is scurrying around you know is going to go ahead and retreat he knows that the wolverine will come to him in due time swaps over to dagger and we have the wolverine once again coming back and he swaps back over to cloak as he goes and takes out the wolverine all right, we get some long distance attacking from the cloak right now from the dagger All right trying to get rid of that moon knight moon knight falls All right as he tries to go ahead and pick off the next enemy. All right, we have we have uh, Thor getting some heals. He's getting some interaction strange has portals right behind the base swaps over the cloak He says oh, let me hop through this portal. What's good your portal my portal jumps back through the portal as he goes ahead and tries to put more aggression Attacking strange through the portal. Oh my goodness swaps over into dagger all right, and Strange hops through and manages to claim the first body of you know, but you know is not done just yet. Okay, fat booty white bitch has entered the fray and swaps over to Cloak, trying to get rid of this Wolverine. Ult is now in play. They see the Jeff. What will you know do as he sees the Wolverine? I know he wants to get rid of that Wolverine. Wolverine ults, and it looks like Wolverine almost takes out the Thor, but it looks like a great time ult will manage to heal back the team. A second match is about to transpire as we have that booty white bitch going to take the field all right mission point unlocks in about 30 seconds all right let's see how this match transpires it's like she's going for the back lines this is very interesting as we have another strange portal as he goes into a cloak as he goes tries to go ahead and snipe squirrel girl is blind she doesn't know what the fuck's happening as cloak takes his first body right now as we have cloak joining back swaps over into dagger trying to heal the team wolverine trying to get his attacks in great invulnerability from the cloak but it looks like wolverine managed to go ahead and take out the cloak Pressuring the Strange right there. Look at the pressure the Strange has a shield up. He is nervous. Nervous takes care of the Squirrel Girl as she tries to take care of the Strange as well. Strange is trying to back up. He only has so much of his meter that he can hold as Strange retreats into the air, but he does not know that he is indeed trapped. Cloak steals his life, swaps over the fat booty white bitch. Wolverine takes the fray. He's trying to go ahead and take out the Cloak. All right, we have the dagger retreating as Strange tries to pressure, swaps over to the Cloak. Blind Strange. Strange has no clue what the fuck's about to go on as Cloak now tries to pressure gets the hits as they go and ult onto the field oh he falls right through the middle but great ult doing a lot of damage he goes for a great vulnerability to levitate back into the air right there we have squirrel girl jeff jeff's trying to climb up look at the pursuit from dagger all right as we see the adam warlock trying to get some heals wolverine trying to take him out great pin by the dagger all right as we try to rush back into the team the enemy team is at 99 percent they trying to get rid of the jeff don't want no heals on the map can they cap this point finally they cap it all right now it's got to be an uphill battle but they can definitely do this if they lock in here he wants this strange con as strange finally falls as we have the squirrel girl trying to retreat getting you know but you know does not care it looks like the team definitely securely planted on this point is exactly where they want to be by the way all right the squirrel girl is finding herself getting railed by the spider-man lucky girl as we have the dagger trying to find some heals or damage on the map a strange portal once again strange in these portals here comes cloak and Cloak trying to come from behind. They're playing Ring on the Rosie on the portal. As we have gunshots, we have Wolverine. We have a lot of shit. I like how Cloak was staying within the sphere. We have Strange trying to ult onto the field, trying to keep the team alive. Great. And he managed to take care of the Strange. All right, here comes Wolverine diving. Okay, Cloak is going to go ahead and swap back over into Dagger, trying to snipe the Warlock. Gets the Warlock snipe. As we have Spider Man going around, as we have Hawkeye on the field, the team is looking nice. Squirrel Girl trying to come on in, but it looks that she meets an untimely death once again. All right, Cloak and Dagger seems to be in rare form right now. 
great play. We had Yunos clocking in at about 20 kills right there, about three deaths and about 11 assists. This is pretty good. I love the key picks that Yuno has made, taking out both the Squirrel Girl and definitely the Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is crucial. He is their only tank on the team. As soon as Doctor Strange crumbles, everyone else kind of scatters about and a team was just struggling to find their way onto the point. This is the certified body bag. Great kills from Yuno. Love to see it on the field. And let's move on to our next match. The body bag. But unfortunately, it's around that time where we must go ahead and end off the body bag center. Of course, I know you want the BBC to keep going. Who don't like a good BBC that lasts forever? But all good things must come to an end. Once again, I am your host, Moonski, giving you these great Marvel Rivals match. Now, I know you want to have your match displayed in total body bag center greatness. All you really got to do is follow me on Twitter or Blue Sky and look up whenever I said, send me your craziest Marvel Rivals matches. If you want to have your whole match displayed, make sure you send me your replay ID. Without your replay ID, I can't see the whole match in entirety. But if you send me the clip, I can throw ahead and slide you in some quickies. All right, ladies and gentlemen, niggas, once again, I'm your host, Yo Moonski, signing off for the night. And there's nothing else on this channel for you, so would you kindly get the fuck off my channel.